Welcome back to Hard Hitters. This week, I'm your host, Sarah Mankiewicz, and I'm GCU began asymptomatic testing Several student organizations, organizations at FGCU, Oregon. and we're going to play Guess the Song. Hello. Welcome to Hanging with the Executives here at the Bowers School of Music. And you're watching ENTV. Hi guys and welcome back to another amazing season of Hard Hitters. I am so excited to be back. NFL season has officially kicked off and without further ado, I'm your host Sarah Mankiewicz and I'm joined with Ian Lynch and Nick Aslan. So we've had week one for NFL and we've already had some pretty exciting games. We've had the Saints versus the Packers game, which the Packers did not do too great. Aaron Rodgers looked very, very disappointed, but I would too if I just lost the first game of the season 38-3. to uh, The defense just could not stop the Saints whatsoever, and the offense couldn't stay on the field long enough to give the defense a chance to rest. It was a really rough performance. <laughs> Yeah, I just want everyone to keep the same attitude that they had towards Jameis Winston at the beginning of last year into this year. Keep it the same. Don't hop on the bandwagon now that he popped off in game one. He had five touchdowns, was 14 for 20. Nothing makes my FSU heart happier than seeing our alumni pop mm. off. Our other fantastic game this week was the Bucks game. We had the Bucks versus the Cowboys and the Bucks ended up pulling it off, but it didn't look like it for a while there. It really looked like the Bucks were struggling and the Cowboys were going to take it for the win for week one. Um, obviously, fourth quarter Brady, I know very well being a Patriots fan myself, um, he came in and he did the same thing with the Buccaneers this game. He went in and he said, we're not losing. We're still in this. We're still a great team. We're still the Super Bowl champs. Um, what do you guys kind of think led to the Buccaneers going off to such a rough kind of start? Like you said, they're coming off the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of expectations with that. Um, Brady and Gronk are back together once again, so they have to continue getting Gronk back into the swing of things because he took a whole year off. Yeah, I definitely don't think we should discredit what the Dallas Cowboys did on, on Thursday night oh, yeah. though, to start the season. I mean, Dak Prescott, coming off that ankle injury and mm -hmm. shoulder soreness throughout the offseason. He played fantastic. Um, Zeke would have liked to see more from him. The, yeah. the, the Bucks did a really good job stopping the run game. But moving on to this upcoming, we've got some predictions for you guys. And so Thursday night football, we've got um, the Giants versus Washington football team. Oh, we don't have Jake here with his Giants bias anymore. Um, so without that, I think that Washington is going to have the edge over the Giants. I watched kind of like um, their preseason games and their trainings, and they looked pretty good this year. Jake, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but <laughs> once again, going against your Giants. Um, the key thing to watch, though, is the whole quarterback situation with Washington. Ryan Fitzpatrick mm -hmm. had that hip injury. No one really knows like how severe it is as of right now. Uh, Taylor <laughs> Heineke, excited to see what he can do as quarterback for the Washington football team. Um, hopefully, Saquon Barkley has a little bit better game this week. I know uh, he's still getting back into the swing of things with his uh, knee injury. Definitely. And then Bills versus Dolphins. We have the Bills who lost to the Steelers this past week and the Dolphins who beat the Patriots by one point. Uh, I'm not too sad about it. Uh, <laughs> um, but I still think that the Bills have that edge over the Dolphins. What do you think with your Miami bias? I have the Dolphins, um, <laughs> like you mentioned, a little bias there. Um, but... There was a lot of concern during the off season with Tua, but I think coming into week one, he actually played really well. Yeah. I do think they are gonna use the confidence from beating the Patriots week one, even though it was by a point, a win is a win. I'm gonna go with the Bills. Uh, Smart man. I, <laughs> the Dolphins, they played great this past weekend. Tua, as you mentioned, he played great, but the Bills, I think they're definitely looking to rebound after that loss against the Steelers. Definitely. We've got the Bengals versus the Bears. Fatsy in. Joe Burrow, I'm taking the Bengals this week. <laughs> they do need to protect, do a better job at protecting Burrow, especially coming off his injury. If, if Andy Dalton's still uh, as the quarter, starting quarterback this week, I think the, the Bengals are going to take it. Definitely. We've got the Texans versus the Browns. I say the Browns. I say the Browns were looking pretty good last season compared to their not-so-great previous few seasons. I have the Browns. Browns. Yeah, I'm also going to go with the Browns. The, the Texans, they they didn't play too bad despite people thinking that they're not going to have a great year without Deshaun Watson. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes this week for them, playing a much tougher team. But I think the Browns are still going to take it. I feel like plain and simple, Rams versus Colts. I've got the Rams. I have the Rams. Okay. Yeah, going with the Rams as well. That offensive group looked unstoppable against the Bears. Cooper Cup, Robert Woods. 
they're great. Definitely. We've got my favorite game of the week. We've got the Patriots versus the Jets. We saw the Jets last season, and then the Jets blew their first round pick. I'm a little biased towards the Patriots, and they only lost the Dolphins by one point. So I have the amazing Patriots this week. Yeah, I have the Patriots as well. Um, Mac Jones looked really good last week despite Ooh. coming up just short. Yeah, I think the Patriots would take this as well. The Jets looked really rough last week especially against playing Carolina. All right, and so we've got the 49ers versus the Eagles. I'm going to go with the 49ers. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo looking fantastic as ever this past week. I have the Eagles this week. Huh? Um, the 49ers nearly blew a 28-point lead this past <laughs> you, week to the Lions. You're going to bring that up. <laughs> um, not a good look. I think they continue off the momentum from week one, come into week two, and get the win. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the, the 49ers. Smart, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the Raiders versus the Steelers. We saw the Steelers did really good last week. Um, we saw them do pretty good up until playoffs kind of sunk them last season. And so I say the Steelers have another good season this year. I'm going with the Steelers this week. Yeah, I have the Steelers as well. Um, they're coming off that big win against the Bills. The other interesting thing to note is it's going to be a short week for the Raiders. They just had a game. Yeah. And went to overtime with the Ravens, so it's a short week for them to get that loss out of their heads, and so I have the Steelers. Yeah, despite the Raiders playing fantastically against the Ravens, I feel like, and sneaking back in to get that overtime win, I think the Steelers are going to take this one. They played a great game against the Bills last week. So Saints versus Panthers, I've got the Saints this week. I got the Saints as well. James Winston continues with last week's performance. <laughs> yeah, going with the Saints, I think they take this one handedly. Okay, Broncos versus the Jags. Uh, I'm surprisingly taking the Jags. I think they've got a little bit of a better season this season coming for them. I got the Broncos. Bridgewater has the quarterback experience edge over Lawrence. Um, taking the Broncos this week. Going with the Broncos. The Jaguars, I didn't see anything too uh, impressive from them this past week. Who do you have, Vikings versus Cardinals? I'm going with the Cardinals. They played fantastic this past week. Kyler Murray is showing why he was the number one overall pick a couple years ago. <laughs> I have the Cardinals as well. They had six sacks last week. I think the defense keeps it up this week. Sweet. And then we've got the Falcons versus the Buccaneers. I've got the Buccaneers. We saw that they're coming off their Super Bowl win. We saw them perform fantastic in the fourth quarter and take that win from the Cowboys last week. I'm going with the Bucks. Yeah, I'm going with the Bucks as well. They played extremely well last week, so I think Brady's going to have another great season. Yeah, I don't think Brady will need to come back from 28-3 to this time to beat Matt Ryan. <laughs> the Bucks got it. Definitely. We got the Cowboys versus the Chargers. We saw, obviously, the Cowboys still played a pretty good game, so I'm going to go with the Cowboys on this one. I'm going to go with the Chargers on this one. I think they rebound good from their uh, week one performance, and uh, Justin Herbert, He's proven that he's a good quarterback. So. Yeah, I have the Chargers as well. Same reason Justin Herbert looked great. I think we'll he's going to continue to have a great second <laughs> season. So I got the Chargers. Definitely. We've got the Titans versus the Seahawks. I've got the Seahawks for this one. Yeah, I got the Seahawks as well. Russell Wilson proved once again with his four touchdown passes and an incredible completion rating. Why he is a former MVP. So, yep. I'm going to go with the Seahawks as well. That Titan defense did not hold up well against the Cardinals. The Chiefs versus the Ravens. I've got the Chiefs. I still think Patrick Mahomes is looking fantastic as ever. And so Chiefs for me. Yeah, I got the Chiefs as well. It's a short week for the Ravens. They don't have a lot of time to get over that loss from last from a couple days ago. So I got the Chiefs. All right, last but not least, we've got Monday Night Football. We've got the Lions versus the Packers. We saw the Packers didn't do so hot. But what do you guys think about this game? Go Pack, go. <laughs> I got the Lions this week. They were up by 28. Or, or they almost came back down 28. Aaron Rodgers didn't look impressive. The defense yeah. didn't look impressive. I got the Lions. I agree. Lions all the way. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching Hard Hitters. I hope you guys enjoyed us making it through this episode in the rain. We did this rain or shine for you guys. So please tune in next week to see our predictions and game recaps.